2022 determined the entropy change for the combustion of liquid ethanol, which is C2H5OH, under the standard conditions to give gaseous carbon dioxide and liquid water. Okay, so we want to find out the entropy change, right? Remember, entropy is S. So anytime that we see a capital S, that's entropy. And remember, entropy is just talking about randomness or disorder of molecules that's going on in the, you know, the uh, container. But we want that entropy change. And a change is always a delta, right? That little triangle. So we want to find out what that delta S is. Now, I had to go into the back of the book because from just words for a question, delta S's are actual numerical values. So I went to the back of the book to find out what some S values are, the entropy values, for the compounds that are mentioned in this uh, question, right? We have uh, carbon dioxide, we have water, we have C2H5OH, but what are numbers without a balanced equation? So with these types of problems, the first thing you got to do is write out that balanced equation. We're talking about a combustion reaction, right? So our hydrocarbon in this case is C2H5OH, right? Combustion, you always start off with the hydrocarbon. So C2H5OH. And it doesn't matter that there's oxygen in here. Some, some you know, carbon molecules have oxygen in them, but it's just like the organic molecule that they give you. And remember, combustion is always plus oxygen, right? You gotta have oxygen in the air or else combustion's not gonna happen. So whatever your carbon and hydrogen compound is, I will add O2 to it. And then I will get out my products, right? They told me that we want gaseous carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is CO2. So CO2. And I'll put these states here now. They told us that that was a gas plus liquid water. Water is obviously H2O. So H2O. And they told us this one is a liquid, so L. Oxygen in the air is always going to be a gas. And they told us that the ethanol, the C2H5OH, was a liquid. So I'm just going to put an L here. Okay. Now, what is an equation unless it's balanced? So that's the next thing we got to do. Got to just quickly balance this just to make sure that we have a balanced equation. So combustion reactions, the easiest way to balance them is to go to your carbon first. So I have two carbons on this side. I only have one carbon on the right side. So in order to balance it, I'm going to put a two in front of the CO2. Now the carbons are balanced, two Cs, two Cs. Next, let's do the hydrogens. Now, in this case, be careful. There's five hydrogens here plus one hydrogen. So there's five total hydrogens coming in with another one hydrogen. So five plus one is a total of six. And over on this side, we have two hydrogens. So in order to get to six, I'm going to have to put a three in the front, right? Because three times two is a total of six. And now let's just balance those oxygens. Let's see. I have two times two oxygens. So I have a total of four oxygens here. Plus, so plus, I have a total of three oxygens here, right? So four plus three is a total of seven oxygens. Now I want to put the number in front of here because I don't want to mess up this value, but I do notice that I have one oxygen coming from that C2H5OH. So if there's one oxygen here, and I want to put my number here, right in front of the O2, what number would I put to get to a total of seven? Well, I could say that one plus two times X, right? We could subtract the one, right? Basically, this would be one plus two X equals seven, right? One oxygen plus whatever number this is. I don't know what that number is. Times two is equal to seven. If I just do a little bit of algebra here, two X equals six divided by two divided by two, we get X equals three. So I know I'm going to have to put a three in front of here. So let's just clean this up a little bit. And there goes the 
the the uh, oopsie. Maybe I have to. I'll just rewrite these again. Or maybe I could just back backtrack. Look how quick that goes. Woo! Because we know that we're just going to get a three there. So there we go. Beautiful. Three in front of here. And now we're all good. Now the equation's balanced. The next thing is I'm just going to take the delta S values that I found in the back of the textbook and just link them up with whoever they are here. So the, the S value, the entropy value for C2H5OH is 106.7. You could find that in the back of your, your textbook in the appendix values for your S values. The O2 value is 205.2. So that goes over with the O2. CO2, carbon dioxide, gas is 213.8. And then just be careful, we're looking for the water, the liquid one, not the gas. So the liquid H2O is 70.0. And now I'm just going to get rid of this little table here. Boop. Okay. Now we have all the individual S values. And maybe before I, I do that, I maybe I should just pull this out just to, just to say, okay, these were your S values. Maybe I'll put like a little dot here. Okay, now I can get rid of this. So these are all of your S values for your individual substances that are in this balance equation, but what formula am I going to use to find out that delta S for the whole reaction? Well, that's this formula right here. Delta S of the whole reaction equals the sum, that's this, the sum, and remember, sum just means addition, so I'm going to add, add up all of your S values of your products minus all of the sum Add up all those S values for your reactants, and then that's the formula, products minus reactants. But in order to do this, we have to just add up all the total on the blue side, add up all the total on the red side, right, products and reactants, and then just subtract them. But are these numbers going to change? Well, this depends on the balanced equation. That's why it's super important to write your balanced equation, because we have to take those coefficients. Technically, there was a 1 in front of the C2H5OH, right? So for each one of these, one C2H5OH, there was three O2s, two CO2s, and three H2Os. These values are just for one of your substance. So for example, for O2, since I have three of them, I have to times this number by three. Just to practice, I have one of these, and maybe I'll just put this down here. I have to multiply this value by one, but anything times one is the same number, right? Two CO2s, I just have to take this number and times it by two. And then three H2Os, I have to take the 70 and times it by three. Now remember, we want to sum them all up. Literally, there's a plus sign on both the products and the reactants. So I'm going to take this and add it together. I'm going to take this and add it together. Keep in mind that you do not cross beyond the yield side. So you keep this side, you sum this side up, and you sum this side up. So let's see what we get. I'm going to do the reactant side first. We have 3 times 205.2 plus 160.7. So I get a total on my reactant side of 776.3. Now let's do it for my product side. 2 times 213.8 plus 3 times 70. The total on my product side is 637.6. Now I have my totals. So now let's plug them in. The Delta S, and by the way, this notch, right, these notches, that means that it's under standard conditions. So I just want to make sure that I am talking about that. So delta S notch. Standard means that you are taking the values from the back of the textbook. Okay, let's keep going. Delta S reaction equals your products, which was 637.6 minus... The reactants, which is 776.3. Okay, let's find that answer out. Delta S, maybe I'll just bring this up a little bit. 
delta S for our whole entire reaction. Looks like it's going to be a negative value. Let's see. 637.6 minus 776.3. I get a negative 138.7. And just know that the units for delta S, if we're taking it from the back of the book, it's joules per mole times Kelvin, and it doesn't matter whether you write the slash this way or, um, you know, horizontally, they both mean the same thing. And that is your answer. So we have negative entropy here, which means that we went from something that was more entropic to less entropic. It kind of makes sense because keep in mind that the gases have the highest entropy out of the, the three states, and you went from three moles of gas to two. So you're losing entropy in your gases. So the negative checks out. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all are doing well out there. Keep studying hard, and I will talk to you all later, okay? Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Thank you so much, and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.